Okay, so for simplification purposes, or for uses in determining the voltages or the amps throughout a circuit, we can add resistors together to find a an equivalent or a resultant resistance. So there are two ways in which we can add resistors together. So the first way is to add them if they're in a series circuit, and the second way to add them is there if, if they're in a parallel circuit. So for the series circuit, the equation that we use to add the resistances is the equivalent resistance given by our EQ is equal to just the sum of all the resistors in the circuit. So in this case, it's R1 plus R2. But this equation can also accommodate for an infinite amount of resistors. So we can add Rn. So this basically means an infinite amount of resistors can be in the circuit and we can still find an equivalent resistance for it. So the second example is for parallel circuits. So the way we do this, uh, the equivalent resistance is equal to so reciprocal of the equivalent is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of all of the other uh, resistors in the circuit. So it's given by R1, R2, and again it can it can accommodate for an infinite amount of resistors as well. So that's how. Uh, both circuits, the resistors in both circuits can be added, so I'll give you an example. Just here. So we have three resistors here, two of them are in parallel, and then the 10 ohm here is in series with an equivalent here given by the parallel. So I'll start off with the parallel, so we can add a an equivalent one here. So the way we do that, so for the parallel, so we used our equation before, so R, the reciprocal of R EQ is equal to the reciprocal of 20 plus the reciprocal of 30, which is equal to 0 0.0833 recurring. And then to get the R EQ value, we just take the reciprocal of this which comes to roughly 12 ohms. So that's just for the equivalent of the parallel. So to add it to the the series, the 10 in the series, so for the rest, the equivalent is just equal to 10 plus what we just figured out, which is the 12. So this means that the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit is equal to 22 ohms. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you.